Well, in this video, the, the main part of the video is actually um, taking this gearbox, which is our multi-power gearbox. We're going to unbutton the gearbox and we're going to get it over onto the stand, um, as in the, the engine stand that we've made a bracket for it, that we can roll the gearbox up and down. Now the multi-power has been disabled, so it's up to us now to find out why it was disabled and how, it, how they disabled it and see what was wrong with it. And the job starts by unbolting the steering box off the top here. So I've got the steering box supported. Now you'll see a, a lifting sling coming up and I've, I've got a beam above the tractor there and I've got an endless chain that comes down. And that's just supporting the steering box. So when we get all the bolts undone, um, that will support the gearbox, oh, oh sorry, the steering box. And what we'll do, we'll just pop it off the top there and we'll just let it swing up out of the way for the moment. But what we'll start off by doing is I'll turn the microphone around a little bit and around the top here, there's a heap of bolts. So all we're going to do is run around these bolts here and up inside there, undo the bolts and I'll do that off camera um, just because I've got to get in there close and I'll probably be in the way anyway and I'll come back when I'm ready just to lift the top off um, we'll come back and film from there. Okay I've undone all the bolts here, they're all loose. Now I've got the air and I've blown all around the top here to get all the dirt and dust away. So now you just go careful here, they should stay. Actually there's a bolt I'll have to undo a little bit under this steering arm. I couldn't quite get it all the way. No spanners were dropped in the making of this video. That bolt's right under the steering arm here. So. Yeah, that's all coming good. here on the safety start so let's go down a little bit a little bit of tension on this steering on this throttle rod Whoever put the split pins in this job last time, it's probably a terrible job. I think that should be it. For the moment, we'll just slide that out of the way. And here's our gearbox now. It looks lovely in there, it looks real good. These are the oil cooler pipes. That's where the, there used to be a rod goes down here to work the valve on the, on the multi-power box. Now this, was pulled apart not all that long ago so we'll just follow through and just see what 
that's to be done. Now I popped the pin out of here, out of the brake rod. Um, that's hooked to the brake pedal over the other side here. Now that foot plate that'll that'll come away, no worries. Now on the other side here we have another foot plate that I'm going to just unbolt because that's with the three bolts, you'll notice there's only two and this hole will be dirty there. Um, on the other one, we have three bolts so we should be able to put the stand on. So I'll go and get that ready, then we'll come back. Now a job we have to do here that we don't have to do on the six speed type tractors is we have a pipe coming in here. Now this pipe comes from your hydraulic pump at the back and I'll lift that top off and I'll show you the other end but before you can split these tractors you have to pull this steering box off and you need two 7-8 spanners and you need to undo that pipe there's no way around it oh, well, not that I know of oh, look at that I know the bloke that did the work on this <laughs> boy I'm shaking my head so that was just finger tight Now just as a point of interest, I'll see if I can drop this thing. So that that pipe comes from your auxiliary port. Now the oil comes from your auxiliary pump. On this tractor, it goes to the side plate. Now, I'll bring you around a little bit. Okay, that's a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of a dicky picture. But there's your PDO lever. So it comes from the pump out to this little manifold here, then comes back in and then goes out to the front so using the auxiliary hydraulics for the multi power you can also have an auxiliary power takeoff point there so I'll just go handheld for a moment if I can so that's your pump it's a bit washed out and there we go so well, that's your, you have your main hydraulic pump down the bottom, that's your auxiliary pump. Then you have a little manifold down in here. That comes out, down to your side fitting. And then it comes back in this pipe here. Then that pipe comes up through the front of your gearbox, through another pipe there. And then when we come around, that pipe comes out the back of the manifold but we'll go further into that as time allows and that's just a bit of an idea here just to the lay of the land well here we are on the right hand side of the tractor and I've undone the bottom bolts I've left one on the corner here one on the top here and I've taken the foot plate away now we need to undo this, well, <laughs> just like that, and we'll pull that side off. Now the, um, I did me token drop there for you. It was just a little spanner sitting on a chair. And the reason we need to undo this here is on the other side where the brake pedals are, um, they go right through and I can't get this stand on, I've got the stand sitting over the other side here, but we'll go around here in a moment and have a look at that. Now, I'll see if I can just lever this off. Try and come in behind it here if I can. Now 
Uh, I probably should be supporting the pedal around the back, but so there's that fella. I'll put this nut and washer back on straight away. And there's a little key, a little woodruff key here. Now if we come around the other side here, actually we're around the right hand side now, I think I might have said the other side was right, but this is the right hand side as you sit on the seat. So what we'll do is come along and I'll undo this bolt here and these other bolts, I've got the stand on, I've showed you that. I had the battery go flat on the camera, so some of it might sound like I'm doubling up, but I don't know when it stopped <laughs> till I actually um, went and had a bit of a look at it. So that's still, yep, that's going fine. So if we can undo the bolts that hold it all together now, well, like I say, I've left four in. One on each corner that's easy to get to here, and two on the top. And what we're going to do is slide it apart, get it up that way a little bit as much as we can, and then we'll lift it up on the endless chain and make it fit this bracket. Then we need to get the whole lot back out again. So to get it back out, we're going to have to um, maybe use the overhead crane, the gantry, to help us out with it, so we'll just see. Shouldn't be any oil, I've had it draining for weeks. I'll go around the other side. There is a stand under the bell housing here. That was just because it was, um, it was just a safety, just to make sure everything was balancing with the, with the jack back further. It was almost on the point of balance. Keep it there as a safety measure. Oh no, I do still have one there. I thought I'd got it, but I... You know, I thought, thought.
All right, well, the gap's bigger at the top than the bottom, so we need to come up just a bit, just like that. That's just lovely. Alright, so if we lift this up a little bit now. Now the main drive shaft at the back, that's the same as on the six speed, that can just come out. And it can just sit in on top there. Everything else looks very similar to your six speed. Bring this stand around. Have to turn him 180. Okay, I'll get this mounted on the stand now, and that'll be the end of the video for s popping the gearbox apart. When we come back, we'll actually strip the gearbox and we'll, we'll see what we need to do.